Now the first engine I ever got, the first glow engine as a kid, was a Cox. And I love that engine, got a lot of use out of it. Somebody recently gave me a Black Widow which I ran in the test stand and it was so nostalgic, it was great to hear that thing running. But boy it made my ears crackle. And <laughs> it was so loud. Uh, and having run that, I decided that I ought to get my baby bee, or I think it's a baby bee, which I've had for years, up and running. It was, it was in a stripped condition and it needed new gaskets and everything. But I thought I ought to get that running. So at about the same time, I saw a Cox muffler. And I thought, well, wouldn't that be good to put a muffler on it, particularly after the ears crackling? And in the noise sensitive world that we live in today, it's not a bad thing. But I have no, I have no idea, I have no idea how this will affect the running of the engine. So I put it on and I'm going to get it clamped in the test stand and I'm going to run it with the muffler in the open position and in the closed position. I'll just zoom the camera around and we'll have a, a, a better look at that rather than me trying to describe it. Right, well this is, this is my lovely Cox engine and I think it's a baby bee but I'm not an expert with Cox engines so it, it may not be. And I've never had this running despite having had it for a, a few years. Now you can see there's a, a muffler ring I've put on the top here which goes around the cylinder. You have to unscrew the cylinder, put it through the muffler ring and then tighten the cylinder up. Now you can see there's a lever here which opens up a ring on the side and if I just open that there you can see it opens up a port through which you can inject fuel if you want to prime the engine and then it can be closed. Now the one thing about fitting a muffler like this is you have to make sure that your engine that you're fitting it to doesn't have SPI, what they call sub piston induction, whereby at the base of the piston, at the slot in the cylinder, when the piston goes up, it opens up a little bit of a, a vent where air can go into the bottom of the crankcase underneath the piston. And this doesn't have SPI, sub piston induction. If you have sub piston induction, when it piston goes up, and that little gap opens up below the piston in the slit where fresh air is supposed to go in and charge the crankcase you'll be getting exhaust gases going in which won't be a, a good thing I wouldn't have thought. So that's the only thing that you need to be careful of if you're fitting a, a, a Cox muffler like this. So anyway, I'm going to get this clamped in the test stand and we'll, uh, we'll see how it runs. Right, well, I'm dead excited to see how this thing runs and also to see what difference the muffler makes. First of all, I'm going to be running it with the muffler wide open. I'll prime it and then tune it and run it like that. And then I'll have a look, see what RPM it's doing, see how it's running, and then I'll close the muffler up and we'll see what difference, if any, it makes. Now I'm going to be running this on a 6x3 prop and the fuel is 12% uh, nitro and it's got a 20% oil mix which is a mixture of synthetic and some castor in there as well. So anyway, let's get this thing fired up.
That was really good to run and I do love running these little Cox engines. Irrespective of whether I ever get this in a plane, it's a great engine to have and just, just to run. Now I was absolutely staggered at the difference that muffler made when I shut that little, uh, that little vent for choking on the front. It really, really quietened it down and it didn't appear to have any huge difference, if any difference, on the overall RPM. Might be different when it's loaded and it's flying, but it seemed to make very little difference or really any appreciable difference that would stop you putting that muffler on. And, but the sound difference was huge. I can't, I, I can't express enough. And I, and I hope that shows on the, the video, the, 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 the difference. It may not because of the way the, uh, the sound limiter works on the video. But anyway, I hope you found that interesting and useful. Thanks very much for watching. Go get yourself a Cox with a muffler. They're great little engines. I love them.